Okay, I don't flour the counter. I knock this out of here onto the counter after sit for a few hours. And what I do is I flour the top of it. Generously. Because it's going to be the bottom. Then I slice it in half. Two loaves. Then I flip it over onto the floured side. And then I pull them together into the center. Like so. And I put a little flour on my hand. Get it on the top. And then I use my bench scraper to form the rounds. And the first few times you do this, it seems impossible, but a little practice makes perfect. So you just keep turning it like this. So you're basically pulling the top down underneath and spinning it, which will make it, uh, the top very uh, taut. Eat, it's the really the best way to make a round I found. I've done it every way. Okay, so move on to the second one. Same thing. Put a little flour on my hand, start spinning it and pulling the top underneath as I spin. You might need to add a little flour because it's still kind of wet. It's a pretty wet dough. Just keep doing that. Feels very awkward at first. The more you do it though, the better it gets, the easier it gets. And then you'll just, I could probably do it in my sleep actually. But you'll see it'll get tight and then you'll, you'll actually start to see the gluten. You can see the gluten strands across the top once you pull it kind of tight. And I always go back to the first one, just my habit. And then what I do, sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top of each round and cover it for 20 minutes to a half an hour and that's it for this step.